We are in the White Tank Mountains. It's my first time in the White Tanks, and probably the last, to be honest. But I think we're going up to one of those peaks, maybe the one with the radio towers, maybe the one to the left, uh, Barry Goldwater Peak. We're on the Goat Camp Trail, which you can see here is 6.4 miles each way, but we gotta go further to the peak, which may or may not be off trail, may or may not involve a road. Um, and then we're gonna loop back um, over that way on the Ford Canyon Trail loop to add some more miles. So this is probably gonna be, uh, I don't know, 16, 17 mile adventure somewhere in that range um, with at least 3,000, well, just out and back to the peak is close to 3,000 foot gain. Um, but presumably on that loop, we'll have some more. So I'm not really sure what the stats are. I'm gonna need to add up the trail miles and figure it out. But uh, I'm excited for this um, to see what the white tanks are all about. Note that you have to pay $7 to get in this between that and the fact that it's like an hour away from Scottsdale is the reason I've never been here and they're not that high either I guess they're comparable to the McDowell's um, this peaks at about 4,000 a little over 4,000 feet so similar to the McDowell peaks all right so we're about a mile and a half in I would say trail is very easy to follow I think we're going right up this canyon I'm not sure if we branched left up, but we're following this canyon up. I don't know the name of it, but uh, I mean, it's a little rocky, but nothing. It's honestly a pretty nice trail. You know, I would say smoother than the McDowell's right now, for sure, but comparable. Um, so we're just heading our way up. We got, I don't know, five to six miles up um until we branch off to go to the summit i think um and i think it flattens out at some point maybe that's mile four not really sure but uh you can see we came from all the way way down there you can sort of see some cars um but not up a ton you know we've probably gained maybe 600 feet if i had to guess maybe 700 over a mile and a half so not a ton but uh it seems to be getting rockier and steeper right now as we speak so just heading up the goat camp trail i don't see any goats though Whew. so we've just had a nice climb the last i don't know three quarters of a mile We've reached sort of a, what looks to be a flatter spot. Maybe not, but we can, maybe not. I just saw the radio towers from back there a little bit. But yeah, this mile from like one and a half to two and a half, definitely actual hiking. It's probably like a seven or 800 foot gain mile. So that's good. Yeah, I think we flatten out now. So there are the radio towers. So that's roughly where we're going. Roughly, I think. But I could be wrong. It could be beyond and out of sight and higher. Uh, so you can see the trail. We've just come up steeply right here. And we're just hitting the three mile mark. If this post is accurate, feels about right. At some point, I know we're gonna flatten out. We did briefly, but we were still going up. I think we legit have like a nice flat half mile at some point. Maybe it's over this little crest here. All right, Let's see our view here. Aha. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So it looks like we got sort of, we gotta go around this big drainage. And then maybe the peaks back there, yeah. That's not high enough. It's gonna be back there further. So, looks like we wrap around, hit that saddle, and then maybe bang a left. So, nice little, nice little break here. 
All right, so as expected, this trail, we've gone around the first big drainage, and now we're wrapping around. You can see the trail on the hillside. We're gonna get up to, I think, that saddle. I think where you see that one radio tower, I think that's the peak up there, I think. But it could potentially be that one with the towers. It's definitely not these, because we, we still have over three miles to the summit. But this is nice cruiser, flat, and the terrain, it's not as rocky, it's pretty dirt. So we can move pretty quick here, which is nice. And it feels good in the shade. So we are making progress, but I think we still easily have, you know, 12 to 1500 foot to gain up to the summit, I think. It's just not gonna happen until the last couple miles, I think. Well, we just passed the five mile mark. Pretty cool looking back to the Phoenix Valley out there. We shouldn't have too much further before we cut left off this loop to head up towards the peak. Probably in like the next quarter mile, I would guess. Thinking it's right up on the saddle that you see, but awesome views down there. And then we'll eventually head back around down over on that side, but I think we're banging a left up here. So check in on the way up to the summit. All right, so we've hit our junction. The peak's back somewhere by the towers, I think. But uh, we'll go back that way, and that's that canyon is Ford Canyon, I believe, unless that's a tributary that feeds into Ford Canyon. Ford Canyon could be a little further, the bigger one beyond. But uh, yeah, now we got, I don't know, mile 1.3 maybe to the summit, but I think we got like, a thousand feet to climb still so it'll probably be not runnable <laughs> definitely hikeable which is fine but yeah we are uh we are already heading up here so summit or bust all right so i think our summit's up where those towers are but if not it's somewhere close but we're gonna hit a road up here and then I think be on a road to the summit which is unfortunate but uh I can see the road up here we just got to climb 50 feet or so up to it so I want to the road and I think we just road walk to the summit so we'll be pretty uneventful this is definitely just as boring as it looks well, I don't know which way we go. I think we split left, and that'll take us up to the summit. All sorts of roads up here. I'll check in on the summit. Feels good with the wind, because we're almost up at 4,000 feet. Well, we're up near the summit somewhere. Whoever said there were no radio towers on the summit in their comment is full of it. That's why I was looking for a peak with no towers. Highest land looks to be right here. Barry Goldwater Peak. <laughs> Awful views with the buildings, but otherwise, Great views to what is to the west, which is absolutely nothing, heading out to California. So looking out back to the Phoenix, Phoenix Valley, you can see four peaks way out in the distance. You can see the McDowell's very well. And then as you look north to the Bradshaw Mountains, there's bigger ones that you see out in the distance. And I don't think I'm looking to pick out the San Francisco peaks. I don't think you can see them. But yeah, Barry Goldwater Peak. Um, not the most interesting hike about what I expected out of the white tanks. Um, let's get a view over here for you too before we run down to our main junction. Ah! 
so here's looking more or less i guess south so you can see the Estrellas out there. I don't know what any of these mountains are out way down here. All the remote ones that I don't think have any hiking trails. So we've rejoined the main trail and already gone almost a mile. We just passed the six mile mark on Goat Camp. So we have a couple junctions. We're gonna branch left each time and that'll get us on the Ford Canyon loop. We'll take Ford Canyon down, and then we'll have several flat miles back around down at the base of the mountains to the car. You can see we're just contouring around all these slopes. Pretty easy, nothing crazy, just getting a little jog on. All right, so we've hit our last junction. Very well signed. Willow Canyon's that way. We passed Mesquite Canyon. This is Ford Canyon. This is gonna loop us, so I assume we're gonna need to gain some elevation here to get up and over these hills onto a different, into a different canyon. Um, so we're probably, I think I misspoke before when I said eight, eight and a half. I think I meant to say nine, nine and a half. So we might be close to 10 in, but we probably still have a good six to seven left to the car i'm thinking at least six so which is fine this might be our last uh i don't know maybe not it's hard to tell i just feel like we need to crest these hills to get to another canyon because this is willow canyon we need to get to ford canyon all right so we've crested our hill fd ford something I don't know what D is. So I don't know if that means we have six miles left to complete this loop or six miles that way. Either way, we're on the back side of this loop. Um, and I think we've probably hit our high point here for this, obviously not the summit, but um, of this, the rest of the trail remaining. So I think now this, this has to be Ford Canyon that you see bending to the right. So we're gonna follow this down follow this canyon all the way out and then uh wrap back around several miles to the car so this hopefully will not be too bad apparently there's a dam i don't think there's any water now but um there is some sort of dam so. all right so we have officially entered the wash of ford canyon and uh it looks like we're gonna be in the canyon i think yeah, there's markers. They do, they do do a good job marking this, I guess, when you're paying $7 a person well, or a car to get in here. least they can do is have these posts, but uh, I was curious if the trail was immediately going to hop out. But it looks like it stays in the wash for at least a little bit. So it might be a little slow going if it's real bouldery for a while or sandy. But I'm uh, making making good progress i think so this is getting much uh rockier here's a baby little dry fall of a couple feet water's carved its way through there and uh yeah this is gonna get annoying walking in these boulders so yeah not very fun hopefully it eventually it'll come out on a trail but Aha, we've hit the dam. There it is. It's a good like five feet high or so. Also not obvious to me where the trail goes, but I think it just goes straight down. So yeah, little baby dam, nothing too crazy. I'm trying to think of other dams. There's one on the Watson Lake Loop. Um, there's one in Joshua Tree I've seen. I don't remember the name of it. Um, obviously big dams like the Hoover Dam, the Glen Canyon Dam, and Parker Dam, the Roosevelt Dam. Let's see how many dams I can name. That might be about it. I might be cashed out on dams. So. Anyway, we're just walking down. Not totally apparent if... This is the way we're, we got some water for the first time. 
Um, I might need to look at the map to make sure the trail didn't branch off there at the dam because I think it, I honestly think it might have. So let me check the map. So you did stay in the wash. I was mistaken. Well, not mistaken. I just didn't know. Um, but there are some big tanks here. You can see how high the water level gets. It gets to be, whew, that's like a, probably a good 10 feet deep at its highest. It's only, you know, it's hard to see the bottom. Probably only a couple feet now. But uh, yeah, still a little bit of water in some of these potholes. That's probably the biggest one I've seen. But uh, there are some, there's no obstacles to climb on, but you do have to walk up and down some rock like this. Very easy though. No need to use your hands or anything. Um, started seeing some people coming up this way. Just saw a, like a family of four and then another elderly couple. Um, so some people I think probably just go to the dam or maybe they're doing the whole loop but I think just go to see the dam and then turn around so we don't have a ton left in the wash and then it turns into a trail that parallels the wash so I totally just missed this I'm coming down all these rocks it's starting to get a little more vertical there's a sign hidden up here I did not look at the map I just luckily turned around I don't know why I did to look and I saw this trail marker up here but that is not easy to spot, especially if you go, I guess maybe from up there, I was just looking straight down the wash. So just be aware, this is where you leave the wash. Um, if you're coming the other way, obviously it's obvious because the trail's dropping you into the wash. This is where you leave the wash if you're doing this loop uh, clockwise. So maybe there was just a dry fall there. Not sure, let's find out. Hard to see. There might have been like a 10 foot drop or something, but it looks like you could have gotten through it, but it looks like we're staying high on the right. So I don't know. We'll just follow this, I guess. Yeah, so the canyon, I think, did might might have gotten pretty difficult to navigate, so this trail's just has us above and you can see when we get around this corner it's really going to start to flatten out and open up but uh you know we just got to drop two three hundred more feet and then it should be relatively flat from here on out but it would have been cool to stay in the canyon but i might have gotten stuck and cliffed out and not been able to get down any further so when in doubt follow the established trail folks this is pretty steep and rocky though on this trail, I'm also carrying this Powerade bottle. I didn't bring, I only have, I only brought a liter and a half or so of liquid, a liter in the soft flask, and then this is only, I don't know, about 16, 18 ounces. Um, so I did not bring a ton of liquid, so I was starting to get a little parched. So I got this out and I'll just drink the rest of this. So not much more to see here, um, but I'll check in at the end. Well, we're about at the Mesquite Canyon Trailhead. Unfortunately, we have quite a bit of road walking to do. <laughs> I haven't tried to measure it out, but maybe two mile and a half, two miles when we hit the road here. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, that's about the end of the trail. I could go on some other trails. It would just end up adding mileage and not really being direct back to the car. But, uh, not a bad hike, a little rocky in some spots. You know, when it's hot in the middle of the summer, I wouldn't do that. But uh, yeah, we're about to hit the road at the stop sign. And then we'll be road walking for quite a bit. So hopefully there's a dirt path. Anyway, see you on the next hike. This was Barry Goldwater Peak and the uh, went up goat, goat camp trail, goat camp to Ford Canyon, wrap back around, I don't know what this trail is called, Waddell, to a little segment on Mesquite Canyon, and then uh, lots of road walking ahead. Can't wait.